Hi friends, I would like to talk to you about inquiry. Inquiry is a really fun way to do science. And we did some inquiry together at school. We did a fall inquiry and we did a winter inquiry. We did a inquiry all about penguins. That was a lot of fun. And I'm gonna tell you how you can do some of your own inquiry at home. I have the word inquiry here as our title. What I need you to do is I need you to find a basket or a box or a bag something that you can do your collecting in. And you're going to go out into nature and you're going to collect some things that are interesting to you. At school, we had a discovery table or our inquiry table where we put all of our treasures there. But you can use a basket or a box. I'll show you some of the things I found when I went out for my walks. I found this very cool pine cone. So anything that you find that's interesting to you or that you wonder about, you can put into your basket. I found this. I found two different kinds of, I think they're hives. I found this one and I found this one. Is that interesting? So I put those in my inquiry basket. I also found some feathers. I found this tall, long feather here and I found a little feather. Here it is. I thought they're very cool. And so I put all these fun things and you can, every time you go out for your walk, or your playtime, you might find a new treasure to add to your basket. Then you can, you're ready to start your inquiry. So when you're ready to do some inquiry, you're going to choose one thing from your basket and you're going to do some wondering. And I'm going to put something up here because the first thing to do when you're doing inquiry is wonder. This says we wonder. So you need to wonder and think about what you've collected. So maybe I'm going to wonder about, I'll choose these two because they go together. Maybe I'm going to wonder about these hives. Hmm, I'm wondering what built these hives. I'm wondering, were they bees or wasps or hornets? Did different things build these two hives? And I'm wondering how those insects built these amazing structures here. I have lots of wonders. You can choose one or two wonders and you can write it down or ask mom or dad to help you write it down. So maybe I'll say, I wonder what built these hives. That's my wonder. After you've got your wonder, your question, you're going to do the next step, which is we observe. You're going to take a really, really close look at your item there. So I'm going to look really closely now and I'm going to tell you what I'm seeing. I see that this hive has little holes that are almost in a hexagon shape. And I see this hive doesn't have holes, but it's got layers and layers of this almost like papery stuff. This one's pretty hard and this one's pretty light. I'm, I'm observing a lot about these two hives, okay? So that's your step to observe, we observe. The next step is, we research. So that's when you're going to try to find out some information about your item. So I need to do some research on hives. I want to find out more about these hives. And you're going to try to find out the answer to your questions, your wonders. I was wondering what built these hives? How did they do that? So how am I going to find out those answers? You have a few ways you could do that. Maybe you know somebody who's an expert. Maybe I know an expert on bees and wasps and hornets. I think my great uncle Joe learned a lot about insects. Maybe I could call him. Maybe he has the answers for me. Or you could, have, you could look in a nonfiction book. If you have a nonfiction book, that will give you some real information. So I would need a nonfiction book about bees and wasps and hornets. Let's see what I have here. I have a nonfiction book about rabbits. That's cool, but that won't help me. And I have one about rain. And I have a nonfiction book about frogs and rabbits and butterflies. Oh, if the library was open, I could go to the library and get a nonfiction book about bees and wasps and hornets, but I don't have one. There's another, another way you could do your research. You could use the computer and ask mom or dad to help you Google your question. You could just ask Google about bees and wasps and hornets or whatever question you have. 
All right, and help, ask mom or dad to help you read and watch videos about that. The last step in your inquiry is this one. And it says, we share. That's where you take your information that you learned and you share it with other people so they can hear the research also. So you can tell all your fun facts to your mom or your dad, your brothers, your sisters. You could call your grandma on the phone and say, Grandma, guess what I found out? I did an inquiry about bees and wasps and hornets and I discovered that. You can, of course, explain what you found out. And I would really like you to share your inquiry with me and with your classmates. So we need you to take a little video of you talking about your new fun facts, what you discovered, and then post it to our shared folder so that we can learn about those things too. So this is your process of inquiry. Start with wondering, we wonder, right? You'll take your collection of items, choose something to really wonder about. And then we observe, really look at it closely, feel it, touch it, smell it, look at it on all the sides, that's your, we observe. The next step is we research. That's where you need to find out those answers. So you could ask an expert, you could read a nonfiction book, or you could use the computer to Google information. You could read about it and watch videos. And then finally, the last step is we share. That's where you share your new information that you found out. It's very exciting to share new information. Okay, so this is the process of inquiry. I would like you to choose something to do an inquiry on this week and next week and so on. You could do inquiry every, every day, every week and have a lot of fun with that. Okay.